I came to Austria yesterday. I'm up on the Stubai Glacier. It's uh, basically you just go to Innsbruck and then it's a 20 minute drive up the mountain. And so I'm here for about three days to meet up with some of the Volcom riders. Um, Torge Bergrim. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm way up here, 3,200. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good stuff. Marcus Cleveland and uh, Bjorn the Belgian. I've been watching like everything. Yeah, you're just taking photos. You have no idea how hard it is. And uh, yeah, we're just here on the glacier. These guys are training for the upcoming season. It's park, jumps, rails, things like that. And uh, I'm just getting back into it. Today, of course, I forgot my snowboard, my snowboard boots and my pants and my gloves. But I went to the rental shop and got some stuff. So I'm, I'm all ready to go. Alright, so we're at the jump. It just the snow just got a little softer, so the guys are hitting it. Um, I guess they're still warming up, but it's a good chance for me to see how the angles work and try some different different shots before before the riders get too serious and they'll, you know, before I miss anything. Basically, I can train as I can practice as well. Be using this a 5D Mark III and the 70 to 200 probably most of the day. I might shoot some wide angle later, but let's see how it goes first. As you can see it's a very big jump, they're flying pretty high in the air, which is nice to shoot because I can get them in the sky above the mountains there, but there's a big hang time so you know where it looks nice is where they're getting their grab, where they're getting their tweak, where the style's perfect, actually have you know nearly a second probably, like there's always the perfect moment but it's not coming quite quick so quickly on a jump like this. Torge Bergram, Mr. Norway is about to hit. Yes. He has very much style, this kid. So how it works here, this is called the Prime Park. These, these big jumps here, the mountain Stubai here, build them specially for the top pros. Um, the top pros pay an extra amount to be here, so they get optimal conditions with not many people. So they can do a lot of, a lot of training, a lot of jumps, a lot of runs per day, and the jumps are, are big and shaped perfectly, there's food up there, um, the mountain puts on these drone pilots, these guys here you can see, uh, there's photographers around, and so they capture all the footage and then they send that free to all these top riders at the end of every day, which they can use for their sponsors, but also for um, analyzing, I don't know, whatever mistakes they made. No other resort that does it like this, the Stubai are pretty much getting, a, getting the jump on it. I'm shooting wide angle on the deck of this jump now, and Torge is dropping in. I've moved back over to this angle. I was up on the corner of the jump there before, up here. Torge was doing technical tricks. He was doing triple corks. Um, so he did a few of them and now he's, he's moved back to doing some stylish, slow rotation jumps that are way better for photos than triple corks. So I've come back over here to get this angle. Okay, I've moved angles again now. I just try and get a few different angles, especially on the first day, so I can see see how they all look and uh, sort of refine it over the next couple of days. This Torge dropping in again now. Now that was pretty stylish. There was a, a, a real long hang time moment where he was had the style, had the tweak. That's what photographers love. So I'm sort of still filming the same angle, but I'm just moving around slightly to change the backgrounds and that. And you can see from the photos that are on the screen that it makes a huge difference. That's a good tip for anyone who's keen to learn. It's like if you think you've found the angle, it could be just two meters to the left or right is, is different. You know, just the peak is in the right place. It, the framing is a bit better, the way the mountains are in the background and things. So it really pays to just take a few steps left or right, up and down. And, and, and see if there's something better. You never know, there might be. Are you happy with your, with your landings and stuff today? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dude, I got like, oh, I got like four decent different shots. You yeah. get a lot of different tricks. All right. 
Uh, look at him, that's his, that's his go-to um, face when he's like, doesn't know what to do. Yeah. So anyway, I'm shooting with a 50 mil and I'm shooting at like 1.4 because we're shooting, there's a, it's backlit, so I'm lighting his face, the background's super blurry. Um, yeah, you're gonna see. Yeah, like this is how it looks, but I'll show you on the camera. But um, it gives a good, a good flare with the light. Especially if I put it, if you try and put a little bit of, like, <laughs> head on there. A little, bit of, a little bit of extra flare time. You get the, the, the sun shining into the water crystals. Look at Bjorn. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we're good. Oh, look at that. That's the blue steel right there. <laughs> Oh, it looks pretty sick with the flare though, super blurry. Oh look, here, check this one out. This one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh good, nice cool. day. Good stuff, man. Underneath with the fisheye. And now I'll get one from here. And yeah, you can see the huge difference in these two photos, even though it's the same trick and the same jump. Massive difference.